Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Junior Master Pro. In this video, you will learn how to create tables in HTML. Tables are very useful in the communication of data in a meaningful way. Tables arrange the data in rows and columns and provide an attractive way to represent information. Tables are created to present information or data in a comprehensive manner and make comparative analysis of data. To create a table in HTML, we use table tag, tr tag, th tag and td tag. Within the table tag, we can use tr tag, th tag and td tag. TR means table row and TH means table heading and TD means table data. Table tag. This is a basic structural tag which appears in pair and encloses the entire table information. Then TR tag. TR means table row to enclose the data of a single row in the table. TH tag. TH means table heading. To specify a column heading, we use the TH tag. It makes the text bold. Then TD tag. TD means table data tag. Within each row of the table, data is represented in the form of individual cells. So this is the syntax of table tag. Start from table tag and end with slash table tag. Within table tag, we have to use tr tag and th and td tag. For each and every row, we have to use tr tag. And within tr tag, we can use th tag for headings and td tag for normal text. Like this. If suppose we want to show this table in our web page, so this is the first row. This is the second row and this is the third row. For each and every row, we have to start from tr tag and close with slash tr tag like this. So start from table, then tr. Within the tr tag, we have to use table heading because it is our coding of row 1. So that's why we have to use here th tag. Then for second row, we use within tr tag td td means normal text okay so this is the coding for row 2 and this is the coding for row 3 now attributes of the table tag first border it specifies the width of the border of a table if we don't specify border attributes with table tag so border will not come okay so simply you type table space border equal 3 so this is the syntax then second border color this attribute is used to set the color of a table okay so table space border then you can give other attributes just like border and border color you can use both then within the double quote you have to type the color spellings the next bg color to set the background color of a table, table space border equals 3, then you can give BG color. Within the double quote, you have to type the spelling of color, whatever you want. The next height and width, we can change the overall height and width of the table. Table border equals 3, then height equals 300, then width equals 400. Next, cell padding. To create a distance between the edge of the cell and the contents of the cell okay so that time we use cell padding so this is the syntax of cell padding so with table tag you can give with a double quote you have to type any number then cell spacing to set the minimum distance between two adjacent cells okay so here you have to give the syntax like table space border then cell space then equal within double quote you can type any number then align attribute to specify the alignment 
of a table. Suppose you want to show your table at the center of the page, that time you use a line attribute and you have to write the spelling of center. Okay, the spelling of center should be C E N T E R, not T R E. Remember, students, you can use border color and BG color attributes with T R, T D, and T H tags. Now, let's start type coding in Notepad. So, here I have already typed the basic structure of HTML within body tag. We have to type table tags. Okay. So, I want this output in my web page. So, you can see here. So, there are three columns and four rows. So, for each row, we have to type separate, separate coding. Okay. So, let's start. Start from table tag then close table tag then within double table tag we have to use tr tag so we have to use four rows that's why this row i'm copying here then So there are four TR tags for four rows. So first row, just see for first row, what is the heading here? Serial number, then name, then grades. So here you type, these are the heading, that's why we have to use TH tag. So there are three columns, that's why we have to use three headings. Then here, so this is the coding of first row. Then here, we have to use TD tag because it is normal text. Just copy. Then here again, you have to copy this. First heading serial number, then name, then grades. So here also you have to type serial number, then name in capital letters, then grades. Then for second row, for second row. So this is the first column, then second column, then third column. So here you also type one, then for top. It got grade A. You can see one Pratap A. Okay. Then for second row, two Sima A plus. So here also you type two Sima here A plus. Then for third row, just copy here. And here you just paste it. What is the coding for third row? 3 Ashish A. So just change your 3. Then Ashish and simply A. Okay. So coding is over now. Okay. Let's see what is the output here. First you save your file on the desktop. You can see your file anywhere. For type file name, then dot html. You can see you just double click here. So this is the output. Okay. So we have not given border. That's why border is not showing. Now we are using attributes here. So with table we have to use border. Just give simply three and save your file here. Just press here F5. So now you can see border is visible. Okay, suppose you want change border color. 
you just give your color name then save your file then press F5 ok ok now the background color is white we want each and every row different color ok suppose in first row we want sky blue color so in first row here we have to give bg color equal sky blue then in second row here orange color so you type here bg color orange then third row simply white color so no need to type here then for fourth row green color save your file then you can see ok now what is output ok so if we give alignment center align equal center the table will come in the center of the web page ok and suppose we want this data also should be come in center so that time we have to give center alignment here also so you just copy and paste here for each and every tr tag with space you have to give now just you save your file then click here so now can you can see all data come in center position so i hope you understood all so thank you everyone to watch my video thanks a lot